Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in response to Jeremy Torviel. And I have taken this picture of my daughter. And first thing I'm going to do is go to image adjustments, black and white, and just turn that black and white. And I'm also going to image adjustments, brightness and contrast, just to play with the contrast a little bit and the brightness. Uh, just to make it slightly more dramatic. Okay. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is um, turn it a little bit coloured. Um, I don't want it to be stark black and white. So I'm just going to colour balance and um, making it a little bit colourful so that it's a little bit more of an interesting image. Okay. Now I've gone to the ellipse mask. And pressing shift, I'm just going over the whole of the head, trying to keep the eye in the middle. And I've control C, control V, so it's now on its own layer. Okay, and um, I'm magic wanding, so I've gone around it and then select inverse. So I take that whole bit there and then I'm going select, modify, contract, and I'm contracting it, I think by 80 pixels this time. Click OK, and that's taken my mask and made it a bit smaller. So I can now delete that bit, and that's left me with a ring that I will do something with later, OK? But I'm going to go back to keeping the mask there. I'm going back to the photo layer, and I'm going to modify contract again, again by 80 pixels. So it goes smaller, so I've got a smaller circle. And I'm going to make sure I've selected the photo layer, control C, control V. So I now have that on its own layer and exactly the same process, magic wand, select inverse. So I've got that selected and then select modify, contract, OK. And then I'm going to press delete again and that's got me another ring. And so I'm going to keep repeating this process. So I'm going to contract that, select modify contract. Um, I'm going to hide the ring and show you the photo again. Make sure I'm on the photo. Control C, Control V. So I have the photo again. Okay, I'll just get rid of the photo and the ring so you can see. And then same again, magic wand, select inverse. And so I've got that selected. Select modify contract okay so i've got that and i'm just going to show you the other ring here so you can see that these are slowly getting smaller okay and i press delete on this and then same process again i'll just get rid of those to keep it simple select modify contract okay and then control C, control V. So I have it again, magic wand, select inverse. So I've got that, select, modify, contract, okay. And then delete again. And it really is just carrying on repeating this process until you have got down to the smallest circle you want, okay? Seems a bit intimidating to start with, but once you get into the hang of it, it really is quite simple. And this is the best way to make sure that your circles are all nicely aligned with each other with the same amount of space around the whole of the circle. Right, I'm going to cut away now and come back to when I finish doing the circles. Okay, you join me back as I'm just deleting the last bit of the last circle. And you'll now see, now I bring everything visible again, all of the different circles that I have cut out on their different layers. So I'm going to select all those layers by shift and selecting. And then I'm going to merge them into one layer. Okay. And then I'm going to show you both layers so the magic can happen. And I'm going to edit, transform, flip horizontal. 
And there it is, your final finished piece in the style of Jeremy Torviel. And that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful.